In this episode, I'm going to show you how easy it is to eat healthy with some simple hacks. Now, if you like a creamy tomato sauce, try replacing the cream with some hummus instead. It's a much healthier version. All you need is a tomato base and some hummus. Mix it up how you like it. There's no recipe for it. It's totally up to you of how creamy you want your sauce to be. Oh my god, I'm salivating. Because I really love hummus. Mmm. It's so good. This is actually better than a normal cream tomato sauce base. If you were to tell me that this has hummus in it, I would never have known. It's lower in calories and saturated fat, which is fantastic. Can't go wrong there. I'm totally down for healthy food all the time. Steaming vegetables is always a healthy option. Now I'm going to teach you a hack to just cook it in just a minute. Lightly season the broccoli with some salt, so we're going to do it. What's his name? Ah. Salt Bay. So let's just do it like he does. <laughs> How's that? I know it's all over the floor now, that's for sure. <laughs> and now I've got to empty all the salt from this bowl. You don't need any water. I'm just going to cover my broccoli, leaving a little bit of a gap, and I'm going to put it in the microwave for around a minute. Now for the test. Mmm, I can smell the broccoli aromas. Maybe it's a little bit too hot to eat right now. Okay. Oh, scum scum! Oh my god, I put too much hot. Hot is freaking salty. Clearly, I got carried away with the bloody salt bay shit, but it tastes damn nice. It's like the perfect texture. Not too soft, not too hard. Easy way to cook them, takes just a minute. And it's super healthy. So you can also do this with other vegetables like carrots or whatever. Just be careful with the salt, okay? Don't do the salt bay thing, it's ridiculous. It was like licking, <laughs> licking the armpit of an athlete. <laughs> Damn salty. But anyway, you get the drip, right? Yes, ding. Now if you love pasta but you want to cut down on the carbs, Here's a healthy option. You can actually make noodles out of zucchini. Now all you need is a spiralizer. It's kind of like a pencil sharpener. Oh, look at this. Healthy noodles. Okay, we have all the zucchini noodles right here. So you just need a little bit of garlic and some oil. Let it soften up a little bit. Ta-da, look at how nice that looks. Now you can put any sauce you like on there. I'm gonna put a bolognese sauce. And what is pasta without a bit of parmesan, huh? Look at that. Amazing. And decorate the plate a bit. All right, and there we have it. Doesn't that look super nice? Mmm, it's very juicy. The noodles are kind of crunchy. Mm -hmm. With the normal pasta, it feels a lot heavier. The zucchini pasta, it's a lot lighter and juicier. And it's a lot less calories. In my opinion, it tastes great. People out there, you may think differently, but I just really like healthy stuff. So I, I would definitely go for zucchini pasta rather than a normal pasta. Now we all love to eat potato chips, right? But it's really unhealthy for you. So an alternative is to make your own beetroot chips. I absolutely love beetroot. I actually really love this whole episode because it's all my favorite things. But anyway, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice my beetroot. Next, take off the excess juice. Oh, it smells so good. Yummy, yummy, yummy beetroot in our tummies. In our tummies. Wow. Lightly drizzle some oil. Spread it all over the beetroot. Okay, I'm gonna put it on my baking paper. Okay, now we just bake it in the oven set to 180 degrees Celsius for about 10 to 15 minutes until they're a bit brown. Everyone's oven is different, so it's best to monitor. Meanwhile, I'm gonna do a bit of talking. I just realized how pink the lipstick is. What the hell? I was going for a more natural look. I didn't know until they took a picture of me and my lips are damn pink. It looks like a baboon's bum. <laughs> but anyway, we are ready. <laughs> smells good. Make sure they cool down before transferring it into a bowl so that it becomes nice and crispy. Hear the crunch? Yeah. Yummy! It's much better to cook this at home. It doesn't have all the MSG and fats or whatever all that jazz. This tastes a lot more natural and it's super healthy and tasty. And you can put any seasoning you want on there. 
bonus. Everybody loves pizza, so I'm gonna teach you how to make a crust using cauliflower. Much healthier, guys. Really, really simple. All you need is a food processor. Okay, kind of looks like chopped garlic. So now I just gotta put it in the microwave for about five minutes on high so that it cooks. The next step is I need to dry the cauliflower. It's bloody hot, so please be careful when doing this. Now, put some mozzarella, parmesan, crack the egg and put it in. This is making kind of like a nice little dough. Put some seasoning in there, some salt and pepper. This pizza crust is really good because it's gluten free. So for all of those people out there that can't take gluten, this is a good recipe for you guys. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flatten it out to make my pizza crust. About five mm thickness. And that is ready to bake. I'm gonna put this in the oven at 220 degrees Celsius for about 20 minutes. All right, I've got my pizza base all nice and crispy. It looks great. Next thing you wanna do is make a pizza. All right, that looks good. Put that in the oven for a further five, 10 minutes and boom, a cauliflower crust pizza. Doesn't that look good? And it smells delicious. Oh, oh, it's really, it's really hot. Anyway, tastes really good. You can't taste that the base is any different, really. It's healthy, gluten-free. Once again, booms and voila. We've come to the end of yet another episode. Thank you so much for watching. You can follow me on Instagram at rjt99. And if you haven't done so already, please download the free Click Network app to watch all of our videos one month before they come out on YouTube. Bye. Mwah. Ding.